Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, colleagues and friends of IAIA, on behalf of uh, the VVM, which is the Dutch Association of Environmental Professionals, and on behalf of the local organizing committee, a warm welcome to IAIA 2002, the second, the 20th second annual conference of the International Association for Impact Assessment. All, I'm talking about my favorite subject, food. All delegates who have registered for the conference dinner at Knights Hall on Thursday, June 20th, are requested to pick up vouchers. Uh, these vouchers will be available during lunch and coffee breaks at the conference desk at the entrance of the Jan Stein Hall. Uh, we're having to ask you to do this for security reasons, so please be aware that delegates who do not um, have their voucher will not be able to attend the dinner. See you there and enjoy your meal. As you know, our conference is about the relevance, the relevance and effectiveness of impact assessment and decision making. Decision makers often complain that impact statements are big piles of paper, hard to read, let alone to understand, and make useful. Madurodam inspired us, the organizing committee and the Ministry of uh, Transport, Public Works, and Water Management, to produce a fingertip EIA in order to illustrate the mission of IAIA 02's conference team. This mini EIA elaborates on the very important issue of flood control in the Netherlands. The intention of this mini AIA is to provide information relevant to, to, re, to decision makers, which means little text, many pictures and figures, a small document, easy to understand, concentrating on the main issues involved. It's an honor, Ms. Fellow, to hand over to you the first specimen of this special EIA. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, as the mayor of Madurodam, it's a great pleasure to welcome you here in the smallest city in the Netherlands. First, I would like to thank you very much for your kind presence. I've never seen it so small before. Um, I think it could work being so small because you don't have much to read it about it, but you can actually do something. And I want to reveal uh, another clue, because, Ms. Verlo, these are the uh, appendices. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to explain something to you about the problem-solving sessions. The afternoon is devoted to a new type of IAIA plenary, 
the problem-solving sessions, and participants are challenged to generate solutions to the issues that uh, were discussed during the morning plenary. Discussions will take place in five smaller groups, and each session will have the same agenda. In each of these groups, we have asked a keynote speaker to kick off the meeting, and um, they will all talk about a, a regional, they will highlight a regional uh, perspective. And we have five sub-sessions which each have a colored card and you are asked to um, choose a card and with that card you go to the appropriate room. And the uh, colors are pink for the Africa perspective, green for the Asia perspective, blue for the Latin America perspective, red for Europe, and orange for North America, New Zealand and Australia. Uh, we would like to ask you to pick up your card when you go for lunch. The lunch is served in the Jan Steen Saal and we have a table there ready for you with all these colored cards. And um, we have chosen for this system so that uh, we have a similar size of groups in each room. So when you enter uh, the lunch room, you pick up your card. And I hope you will enjoy your uh, lunch and I hope that you will all find the room where you will have your uh, regional session. We want to increase the impact of the work we are doing. Yeah? And there are peop many people doing work in, in Europe, in the Netherlands, whatever. We are doing work in Africa, there are other people doing work in other continents. And we want to increase the impact of the work we are doing. Yeah? And you want to learn from other colleagues what they are doing, how, they are, how their successes are, and maybe we can apply what we learn in this week to our own work. And on the other hand, it is fun to see your colleagues back and have some fun. I think we will have a very productive uh, uh, conference and uh, we will find out that, uh, what will be the best decision for the 21st century and later. We, sh we should be talking more about a strategic impact assessment, more for the global environmental you know, impact, more for sustainability than just uh, you know, impact of this you know, project. It should be like you know, try to, you know, looking at uh, the global view than like a project oriented type of view. I think you know this is what I, I expect you know to take uh, from this meeting. I'm trying to get the general public more involved in in sort of decision making so getting them involved earlier on in the process um, so they actually have an opportunity to influence maybe the plans or um, actually having an opportunity to really make a difference rather than being brought in right at the end more as a sort of rubber stamp for a project, so I'm looking at how you can find different ways of, of getting them more involved and maybe using technology as a way of facilitating that. Eiburg is uh, the biggest housing project of the city of Amsterdam and the project is in the eastern part of the city. Eiburg is, is uh, very special because we are building houses on new islands in the Eye Lake. And uh, at this moment we are going to build about seven new islands and we connect the islands with beautiful bridges. Uh, the houses will be very special because all the houses uh, will have a relation with the water. People in houses will look at the water, can go to the water, can swim in the water and can play with water. Uh, the project is uh, started, uh, the project started at this moment, the first houses are built at this moment and in about uh, 15 years we are going to build there 18,000 houses together with all the public um, functions uh, in it, schools, shops and things like that. We build houses because uh, uh, the city of Amsterdam always have a shortage of houses. A lot of people are looking for a house and we are going to provide houses for them on Eiburg. All the islands uh, are surrounded by dikes because uh, we have to protect the people living on the islands against the water. On the other hand, uh, people can play with the water by uh, going on the dikes and reaching the water. Uh, in between the islands, we're bringing in the water so uh, people have water in the islands too, and we call that marinating the islands of Eiburg. The 
inside us, we see a compensation project uh, of Eiberg. And uh, when we were making Eiberg uh, before that, it was uh, especially a good area for a sort of duck. And well, now we're building their house, so the duck has to find another place. And beside uh, uh, here, we're making that project. And we're doing that by lowering the, the sea level, by make, putting a sand on the bottom and making a dike. And the dike, it's, it's case, uh, it makes it possible for shells to grow there, and the ducks eat the shells. So they, they, we have two things that we're doing. We're giving them the, the ducks some shelter for, from when it's a stormy weather, and we give them food. This morning we had some serious discussion about Eiberg. But uh, and we liked it very much. But now we have some. Uh, there's some time for uh, some uh, recreation, and we visit Volendam. It's an old fisher place, and we also can learn from El Volendam. But because people are living together, they work together, and that's what we're going to try to do on Eiberg in the next 10 years. But now let's have some fun on Volendam. Today, the issues that we saw at Eiburg are, are very similar to the issues we deal with. I mean, the answers might be different, but the issues and the, the, the integrating of the different challenges and coming up with solutions, I mean, they're the similar the world over. I mean, actually realising all these good ideas about the nature, the people, all these uh, different... Uh, um, uh, things that you have in the same place with schools and everything in that scale. I mean, that's really unique. It seems it's a, a completely new development, you know, encompassing, you know, sort of a um, uh, 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 good planning and in particular, you know, well, the, with the environmental element. That's the, 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 the uh, most important that impressed me. Uh, one important thing, I think, in, in project like this is gaining public acceptance and this, I from what we heard was very well handled uh, by having the referendum. I, I think it's a very good example of marine uh, development and um, the environment uh, together. IA is uh, the forum uh, where these issues are discussed. It's the, the most important uh, venue of its kind uh, in the world. Uh, it's very important for environmental professionals to be part of this community. Um, uh, uh, we're coming forward uh, again in the future. Dear friends, it's my turn to say something on this beautiful television screen. It's about a Wednesday night, because if you are into meeting people, if you are into doing things with your friends that you wouldn't expect to do otherwise, like doing some music jamming or maybe doing some poetry, the Wednesday evening is for you. Actually, uh, this is an evening that we dedicate to networking. If you want to meet people, we try to get all 600 participants into one room for you. We provide free food. There will be posters all over the place. You can speak to the people who uh, actually uh, produce these posters. You can uh, listen to jam sessions by actually IA experts. Yes, they are multi-talented, definitely. Um, there will be a poetry contest, there will be a raffle, really, with items from all over the place. I mean, if you want to have some booze from Cuba, hopefully one of our friends brought it with us. Um, you might listen, you might not want to listen. You can find an easy corner and talk with colleagues about new research in initiatives or how to get new money from the European Commission. Everything is possible on the Wednesday night. It starts at 5.30, it starts with a poster presentation, one hour of discussions, then it's free food, and then we, get, we go into all sorts of activities. And please, join us. It's in the Jan Steensaal, it's downstairs. You might know it because we have lunch there every day, and um, it will be a hell of a time. And at 10 o'clock, we all go to another place and see what we'll do, because then it's over. Thank you very much, and I hope to see you on Wednesday evening. Bye-bye. <laughs>